Does the statue of my dad look like him? No. Finally. Somebody else around here who's angry. Bruce is dead. The Court of Owls is real. The League of Shadows is running around Gotham. And you're all trying to pretend everything's normal. This isn't just about the League. Or the Court. I can't remember Dad's face. Every time I think of him, he just looks like that stupid statue. And? And I have a photographic memory. Where I used to. How can I be Batgirl? Solve crime, fight bad guys. If I can't trust my own brain, Stay angry. And you aim that anger square at every wrong in the world. At least that's what I do. But then... Thanks, Jason. No problem. That girl. <laughs> to present our host for the evening. That has to be the voice of the court. He's not even trying to be subtle. Thank you all for the warm welcome. But tonight is not about me. We are here to remember one of Gotham's greatest sons, Bruce Wayne. Now, you all knew the Playboy. I knew his charity, a brash defender of Gotham's best. Though he's gone now, Bruce's contributions to this city will be felt for decades to come. This is for you, Bruce. The last of our precious Wayne family. You helped us in ways you never realized. And may we, the surviving families of Gotham, strive to live up to your inimitable legacy. Sir, the labs are requesting more Dionysium to meet their production deadline. I'm aware. Arrangements are being made. Let them know that I expect the quota to be met. No excuses. Thank you, sir. Are the arrangements made? If it pleases the court. Excellent. I'll see you downstairs. Destroy Gotham? No, we're trying to save her. 
preserve her glory. I understand now the potential you could have to do the same. You're not the first masked villain to try to sell me that one. The only one hiding behind the mask is you, Miss Gordon. Jacob? Kane? How? I know. Just like I knew my nephew Bruce was out there, keeping the peace in his armored pajamas. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't tell anyone. Call it loyalty to Martha. We all live double lives, trying to shelter the city from chaos. It's just, our court is quieter about it. You're not protecting this city. You and your cult are using it as your personal playground. Yeah, Batman would probably say the same thing in your position. That's why I never told Bruce about the court. We have the same ends, the same enemies. It's madness you're not serving us. Unlike you, I don't kill people. <laughs> A difference in tactics, I'll admit. I know you killed Langstrom, then his assistant. Is that what you call protection? Those who betray us will suffer for it. Langstrom betrayed the court. Bruce fought for something bigger than himself. You just want power. He never would have allowed this. Do not use my nephew against me. I mourn Bruce. I want answers for his death. Just like you. Don't compare us, Jacob. Understood. I protected Bruce, but I won't protect you. If you won't join us, I'm afraid you'll have to join Langston. Clearly, I have bigger problems right now. Just stay out of my way. You won't like what happens next. and brightest at the Orchard Hotel is a new low for the city of Gotham. It is time for the real heroes, the GCPD, to step up and restore order in our city. To take it back. Yeesh. Surprisingly, Commissioner Kane isn't a match for any of the voices we collected. Hey! She may not be a court member, but the Commissioner could still be helping them. She did marry Jacob. Catherine is probably not aware of her husband's secret. I know Jacob well, and have never had even the slightest suspicion. Colonel Asshole fooled everyone. Even Bruce. The other people we matched at the ball. John Wycliffe? Isabella Haas? Maria Powers. All killed at the hotel by the League. Colonel Kane's the only member we know survived for sure. And probably old Lady Cobblepot. She's unaccounted for. And the court is clearly much bigger than Jacob Kane and Constance Cobblepot. The almighty voice was right, you know. No one will believe a nursery rhyme's been pulling Gotham's strings for so long. But people will believe that Jacob Kane conspired to murder Langstrom. We have the evidence to prove it. Let's get this to Detective Montoya. See if it's enough for her to build her case. I'll be sure to include our list of known members, dead or otherwise. We need to be careful about this. 
Jacob will be waiting for us to try something. Someone should talk to Talia. The court and the League are clearly out to kill each other. Then let's be ready when we're caught in between them. Listen, if you were worried about your dad, I wanted you to know, he wasn't covering for the Court of Owls. He solved some of these cases. Quite a few of them. He was fighting the court even if he didn't know they were. I should have known that. I just thought, maybe I didn't know him as well as I thought I did. You needed proof, just like Bruce would have. Should have found it earlier. I was Oracle. I had access to every computer system in Gotham. How could I have missed something as big as the court? You mean, how could you have missed an evil secret society that's kept itself hidden from everyone, including your dad and Batman, for literal centuries? That sounds like something Dick would say. Thanks. <laughs> so. Now, can I help with the murder dollhouse? Sure. Yes! <laughs> Gotham has called, and I have answered, and I will never abandon her. And I won't forget.